What's going on everybody? Welcome back to this episode of G4 Outdoors. Today we're going to go over the basic fundamentals of the fishfindermounts.com fish finder mount. Monday, Monday Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday, Thursday. I just dream of fishing while I'm going through my work day. I listen to my boss though he's driving me berserk. Eh? Damn it, I can't take much more because my brain is really hurting. And now the bank is always calling and I don't know what to do. And I haven't bought a crankbait since like 1992. But the bass are out there schooling and they're ready to attack. And I got all my favorite lures and they're loaded in my pack. All that stress that's in my body's I'm always driving me insane. When I'm reeling in that buzzbait, it just seems to go away. Now you see fishing ain't a habit, it's a passion in my souls. When I'm casting and I'm smashing all these bass that are on my pole. Now for a minute or an hour. All right, I would love to take this out on the lake and show you guys this today, but we're still freezing here in Missouri, so not able to get out on the lake. But what I'm gonna do is show you all the parts that you're gonna get with your live scope mounting system. So on fishfindermounts.com, they give you a ton of ways and options of how to mount your, your transducer to your boat. Uh, with ours, we have a, a hard mount right here with a hard mount plate. We have a two inch riser and we also have a c-clamp and your down rod right here along with an optional handle so that you can turn this whichever way you want uh haven't currently got it in the mail it was on back order we actually have a collar that goes on here that will keep this from falling down too far it's not it's not really a necessary item but that option is there to have Okay, as you can see right here, there is a permanent base plate right here. That's just this area here. In this boat right here, well, you have a two inch riser right here. And what this riser right here is gonna do for you, if you look on the inside here, you can see that you can put your mounting plate down and this riser plate can go here and then this on top of here. In this specific boat right here, you would need a four inch riser, which would be two of these pieces. That way, this outrigger right here will be able to hang out off the side of your boat the way we're going to be mounting this on this boat is up on the bow of the boat on the uh on the gunnel just like this so if you're looking for something a little more portable and less permanent you can go with the c-clamp and what this four inch c-clamp does it just mounts right over the gunnel of your boat you can take this base plate off slap this right on here and it mounts in. I'll show how that's done here just in a second. But uh, the C-clamp is a great way to put this on the side of your boat, on the side of a dock. And guys, if you haven't yet, check out our playlist on the portable live scope system. Uh, we're doing a pretty big deal on that. We show up in the party. <laughs> Now along with that you have your option of 48 inches and I think 36 inches and you can also get 36 inch increments in extensions on your downrigger pole. As you can see that's going to go in here just like that. This isn't mounted but this is basically how it's going to go. And the, the head right here is repositionable to any, any angle you want that. Uh, I want to show you this up close and personal here in a second. But uh, on your down handle or down rod here, you also have your optional handle. So that you can put this handle on here and it'll give you a point of reference of where your transducer is gonna be pointing and scanning. So really, like I mentioned, there is a base plate right here. And then you have this system right here, your, your block, which can either go on your riser, it can go on your base plate, or it can go on your seat clamp. So I'm gonna put this on the seat clamp real quick and show you how all this operates. Now all of these things interchange very easily with just two bolts per whatever you're working on. There's two bolts on the top here and that'll give you the option to put it on the side of your boat. There's also two up here which will allow you to put this on a dock. So I'm going to take this apart and put this on here real quick. It comes with your lock washers which go inside of here so you can see down in through here you can put your phillips head in through there and screw down through the bottom onto the top all 
All right, just as quick as two easy screws going into there and we're mounted to the top already. Now what this is gonna do, just put it over the side of your boat. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do just to keep from scratching the paint. This is just for this video. I uh, found a piece of foam here in the boat, but I'm gonna put that underneath here. Like I say, that'll go right over the side of your boat. And then you take this long-winded screw right here and screw it right on in. So now that that's on the side of the boat like that, I don't have it on there very securely yet. Uh, anyway, you take your outrigger here, you slide it right in here. Oh yeah, there's a uh, set screw over here, sorry. Just slide that in there and it'll pop right in place. It also comes with a carrier to keep this thing from falling out. If, uh, if you ever pull this up and decide to accidentally pull it too far, this little pin here will keep it from coming out. Now here's the nice thing, your, your down rod, I believe that's what, I'm on, that's what I'm gonna call it, is a down rod. This is what your transducer is gonna mount to. Let's put the handle on here real quick too. All of this, all of this stuff is extremely well machined. That's something that I really forgot to mention. There is a lot of time and effort that has been put into this stuff on the machining work of it. It's all super well machined. It's all anodized, so everything looks really good. Highly impressed with all the machine work on here, and that's, that is no joke. It's quality stuff. So anyway, you put your down rod in here, tighten it up, and just like that, you're ready to go. You have like, I'm sorry, this isn't tightened up on the boat just yet. Uh, right here you have your handle, so you can determine which way your transducer is gonna go. Now, it may look a little awkward sitting out here, but you can adjust this. You can move it in closer to the boat if you want to. And keep in mind, this, on this C-clamp, you can run this anywhere along the gunnel on your boat. Back on the tail end, back on the front end, you can just mount it anywhere you want. If you mount it on somewhere sideways, you can you can turn it sideways it, it's just got so many options and one thing i do like about this and the amount of adjustments that you can do to this let's say that you're out here live scoping right now the fish aren't biting you're not finding any fish and you want to run down the lake this is where this mounting system just blows all of the others away all of the others you're going to have to take it apart do something in order to get on down the lake. This one right here, watch how easy this is. You turn it sideways, learn where, learn where the hole is. The hole goes in there. This bottom piece right here is adjustable as well. Pull that. Like I say, it's freezing here in Missouri and my hands are not doing too good. You can fold that in just like that. Bring your handle in, you're ready to scoot down the lake. So at fishfindermounts.com, they have this set up for whether you want to run Lawrence, Garmin, uh, I don't even know what other. Hummingbird. Hummingbird. You, you name it. You pick one, it's got it for you. What we did here is we ordered it for the Garmin Live Scoop. This piece right here is going to be the only piece that differs from each of the, each of the units that you buy. This piece right here is specifically designed for the Garmin Live Scoop just this shiny piece right here what this does it slides into the bottom of the tube as you can see there's a there's a little set screw right here we're gonna have to do this without this on here but uh in general this is the only piece that's going to change this goes into the bottom of the pole screw that into place and you are ready to go winner winner chicken dinner bob's your uncle so along with the simplicity the ease of use this thing just has it all uh, you know, when we were looking for a live scope portable system, a lot of them were very cheaply made and very expensive. Uh, you're paying for quality in this. I am going to tell you that up front. But the quality, if you're having a couple of grand hanging off the side of the boat, it's something that you're not want to, going to skimp on. Uh, I know I've mentioned fishfindermounts.com several times in this video. I bought this product with my own money. And I'm putting this video out here because I believe this product, it's a, uh, it's, it's class one, it's A1, it's triple A. The machine work, the anodization of all the parts on here. Like I say, you can put it on the front of the boat. You can put it on the side of your boat. You can put a C-clamp right here. 
Because this um, can now go on docks. It can go on a tree. Like anything you wanted to put this on with the C-clamp style, you could attach it to your buddy's boat, your boat, your mom's boat, the dock in your backyard, and you're ready to go on this system. And it's not just for your boats. You got your floatables, you got your kayaks, your and your boats. You know, if you go to fishfindermounts.com, they have the fish mount for you. So guys, I hope that this video brought you some information about the fishfindermounts.com fish finder mount and stick around because we are going to have tons of fun this summer chasing down the crappie with the Garmin live scope utilizing the fishfindermounts.com fish mount. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Outdoors, YouTube online. But as I look up and I ask, can I please just catch a break? I got my rod and my reel, and I'm headed to the lake. Yeah. And now the bank is always calling. I got